Yo guys, today I just wanted to do a quick review on my MKM Flame. Um, just because I realize I've never done a review on this and I you know, thought I might as well give you guys a review. So, first things first, this is a small knife. Uh, 70 grams on the weight. Really, really good looking knife. Um, flicks out to perfection and it's a really really sturdy stable design on this knife i really really like it um and this the more companies need to be using this screw you can use a coin you can use a screwdriver you can use a knife you can use whatever you want all right and that is what i like about this um and this flipper you cannot fail on the opening and it's too easy too easy this is such an underrated knife um and not many it needs to be talked about more mkm flame really really good knife um 200 euro two i think i paid 220 for it really expensive but it's made in italy full titanium this is one of my oldest knives i've had it for um probably close to a year now uh so yeah this is one of my older knives uh, I think th this is based on the Michael Zebo uh, design, I'm pretty sure. And that one has uh, full Damascus. Um, so if you're interested in Damascus, you can get that. But I, I, it, it's a small knife. I don't know. I, w I wouldn't pay that much for something like that. Uh, let me get a size comparison. You know what, heck. Throw in that. Um, Fall Knife and FX. While I get my other one. So, Spyco. Para three. Oh, get that in frame. Er, nope, para two. My bad. Uh, para two here. Uh, then I have another popular knife here. Banter. So that's another small knife, and you still get more blade for the MKM. Uh, James Barron. Barnes, Barnes. Um, what else do I have? To... Okay, yeah, that's pretty much all the popular knives that I have. Um, for size comparison, but this is a really nice knife. Um, and if you're interested in small knives, if you're interested in something that looks very, very, very discreet, non-threatening, something that you want to take in the workplace, something that you want of high quality, this is it. This is your knife. Um, and honestly, the double-edged ones looked even cooler uh, than this, which I really want to get the double-edged all-black one or a... What's it called? Um, what is that called? There's... I think it's called the Zero. It's a really, really cool all-black knife. Um, but it's, like, really thin and tall. Those knives look really cool. But I still... Uh, yeah. So, th I'm getting a little off limb here. Uh, this knife... Again, really, really nice. It's so... It's so reliable. Um, and if you just... If you want something that's reliable and looks like a... a like a pen... Um, then this is your knife. It's just full titanium. Uh, really, really good looking. This, it's, you can use it for pretty much anything. And I think this is M390? I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, this is M390. God, dude, this knife is so real. This is so good. Um, definitely one of my favorite knives. Just a really, really nice design. Uh, I know the price is a little bit expensive, but, you know in my opinion is more than worth it uh and you know this is definitely one of the best pocket clips i mean if it was a little bit shorter that's i guess that's my only complaint about this whole knife is this could be a little bit shorter um when you first get the knife too um it's a little bit uh difficult to flick out but um that'll uh, loosen over time and yeah uh just a really really good all-around knife this is for the person that wants to you know bring their knife anywhere and not have it scare people or you know threaten people it's just i don't know it looks 
it looks the price too it looks expensive um but yeah it's not and i'm pretty sure the blade well i guess it is expensive but i'm pretty sure the blade size is just around three inches um it might be a little bit just a little bit less than three inches and it's just such a good looking knife and it's m390 guys it's m390 you know i don't i don't need to say any more about that uh it is a frame lock um if it was a liner lock that would be a little bit better but honestly this might be a little bit more i guess trusty there's no way that you can you can definitely get a full grip and you have jimping here uh on this knife but um there's no way that you can disengage or engage this um <laughs> this locking mechanism by accident in any means whatsoever because it's just not coming out um no blade mo movement uh whatsoever either and um centering is really really center i think that's just about perfect as it can get and you know this is a fidget knife it's so satisfying to open and close well not really close but it's super satisfying to uh open um and yeah guys it's just a really lightweight knife that you can do pretty much anything you need it to do and the screws on here are really really nice it's just it just feels sturdy for being such a small knife not even for being such a small knife it just feels sturdy and that's pretty much all I have to say about this. If you guys want to see any more reviews, just hit that like button. Give me a comment. Um, if you guys want to see me review any knives, just request it in the comments. See what I can do. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys. Uh, later.